Good afternoon, this is Dr. Walker from denwalker.com. So um, I was talking to a medical prof- medical professional today and uh, the, the, the question came up or the idea came up um, that why do I put so much um, stock essentially in, 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 in supplements and uh, that the FDA, for many of them, uh, do not regulate them uh, then what's my guideline or guidance for for suggesting them um, and I, I I said I said I said two things um, and I said first and I, I, I did not mean to digress but it sounded like I did digress a little bit I said first did you know that uh, a few years back the uh, FDA went to the courts and asked the court to um, not have a major phar- pharmaceutical company um, not disclosed not disclose what was actually in their drug. Um, they, they essentially asked again for 75 years before this big drug company had to disclose the formulation of their of their drug. And I, I, I thought that, you know, if I had a product and the product was that good or good, why do I need to not disclose what's actually in it? Um, so that was that was sort of the first uh, take that I had. I, I, I said, you know, so they're telling me or they're sub- suggesting that they're not regulating supplements does not make me then say supplements aren't uh, aren't aren't good. The other part was that, and I said. Um, uh, did you know that about 75% of uh, the FDA's um, funding comes from Big Pharma? Did you know that? So in other words, um, if I have a supplement and the supplement costs uh, pennies on the dollar and I had another drug that cost, I don't know, $20,000, let's say, even if I were to give FDA 75% of my pennies that wouldn't be good enough for them right they're looking for they're looking for people to support them right and and the supplement companies are not supporting them they can't support them right because uh, for most of these supplements again they're really pennies on on the dollar right and if they're looking if, if again 75% of their funding comes from uh, comes from medications and drugs they're not looking at supplements as their way. So those two things I said, what their view uh, is of supplements, mean it, it means nothing to me, right? Because um, the only reason that they're not, quote, regulating supplements is because there's no money in it for them, right? Because they can always make, you know, instead of telling you to um, eat more green leafy vegetables for your calcium, they'll have a pill that they'll sell you for, you know, hundreds of dollars a month. Right. That's what that's what happens. So um, them suggesting that supplements are questionable. No, I, I no no. Look for sources that's been around for a while. Right. Look for uh, if there is a process by which they can uh, they have their uh, supplements sort of evaluated by a third uh, company. Those are sort of wonderful things or labs uh, that look at their consistency. Right. Th- those are some some things that I look for in terms of uh, in terms of supplement. I do not at this point have a go-to source for any supplement i'll try one and see if it works if it works for me then great if it doesn't work for me then i'll move on to something else in other words uh even some of the supplements that i suggest like zinc uh zinc can cause some problems right but usually it's not just the zinc itself it's usually the the chelating part of the zinc so in other words what the zinc the elemental part of that uh product is attached to that may give you some problems right and so if if you done if you've done what i said i.e. try it, for example, with, with meal, eat some of your meal and then take your supplement. If that doesn't work, then try another version of the supplement in terms of um, another chelating part, another chelation of that uh, of that supplement. Try that and see if that, that works. But again, um, there are no great standards. Yes, I, I get that. Uh, but it's, it's, in my opinion, um, better to eat natural things. And in the event that you're not getting enough of whatever, let's say vitamin D, uh, then supplementation is fine, right? But the long-term consequences of taking some medications or some um, 
similar their injection, the consequences could be dire. So I, I, I choose the supplement way um, for a lot of what I do uh, and a lot of what my family does. Uh, we go the supplement uh, way, disregarding the position of the FDA. Thanks for listening, Dr. Walker.